Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dog Craft. My name is Stacy and I am joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life pets, Paige, Molly, Polly, and Milk Toast. Ah, oh, it is good to be back. I know I've said this before, but it is so good to be back in Dog Craft and I am not planning on leaving anytime soon. I will be here every Saturday for the foreseeable future. How are you doing, Molly? How are you? Oh, look at your little tail wagging. How are you? And hello, Milky. I appreciate you guys coming out on the balcony. Next episode is episode 300. All I want in Dogcraft is for me to say that I am joined by Molly, Paige, Polly, and Milktoast and have them all come out onto the balcony. It's never happened. I don't think it's going to happen in the next episode. Maybe by episode 4. 400 or 500 maybe eventually it'll happen uh but you guys get gold stars today where are Paige and polly wait i think i saw polly uh yep polly was having breakfast typical typical polly she likes to eat but where is Paige? oh Paige is still up here by my typewriter hi Paige. how you doing girl you doing okay um okay so Let's see here. Oh, what do we even, where do I even begin, you guys? Where do I even begin? So like I said, next episode is episode 300, and I've had a goal for a very long time of kind of like, what's the word? Sort of like freeing the dogs in dog craft? Basically making it so that the dogs can roam around wherever they want to go. I think we're pretty close to doing that. So like over here... They basically can't get into the water there. I need to get some sand, hopefully. I want to make all of these ponds here um, just one block deep. So that if any, like even the, like the littlest dog, actually, I think if it's like a chihuahua, it would still drown. So that wouldn't be good. I mean, hopefully it would float. But anyway, as you can see over here, you've got like fences. It's, you know, it's all fenced off here. Like, oh, hello guys. Hi, Madeline. Hi. Oh, hello, Henri. How are you guys? How's little croissant doing? Um, anyway, so, by the way, you guys can tell that I, I have missed dog craft if I'm being nice to Madeline. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you missed me too? Did you really? Okay. Is it just me or is the cloud that's going over dog craft right now like the biggest cloud that I've ever seen in Minecraft? That is a big, that is a big cloud. Anyway, so fences, uh, fences of course, fences. I'm going to walk the perimeter, but what am I even doing? I completely just ran out my front door and I didn't do what I normally do in dog craft, which is to go and get myself a wolf to accompany me on my journey today. Did I sit milk this down? I must have. Um, oh wait, first, uh, the sand, the sand, this might be enough. If it's not, let's grab, let's grab some dirt just in case. Um, oh, I forgot I had that podzol. I need to do something cool with that. Uh, but let's get a wolf to accompany us on our adventure today. <gasps> Hello, guys. How have you been? Are you guys happy to see me? Hello. Oh. Oh, you guys are eating. Oh, that's good. I think you guys are all on wandering mode. Uh, you're big wolves now. Let's go ahead and see. Is there any paper in here? Yes, there is a paper. It's Addison. Addison, you are the lucky wolf today. I need a stick. This is that basil that just like flew past. Um, yes, it was. Okay, Addison, I have set you to tactical. You can follow me today. Everyone else will stay here. Let's go ahead and grab a cat. Uh, because I think I have... Oh, I didn't put Addison's paper back. <laughs> we all know the story. Uh, or maybe you don't, actually. By the way, if you're new to Dogcraft, 
welcome. Uh, but maybe you don't know the story, but there's there's a long history with Addison's missing paper. Um, so we better put it back there. <laughs> uh, okay, bye guys. I will see you guys all uh, later. Addison, come with me. Let me put milk toast paper. Well, let me not take milk toast paper out yet until we choose a cat. We got, oh, we got rags. Oh, rags. Where? Oh, he's over here hiding. Rags is a sad, sad story. Basically, something that happened between episodes of Dogcraft. I might as well tell you guys about this. I didn't want to tell you guys about this, but a lot of you already know it who are subscribed to my vlogging channel. Basically, I found a cat at a shelter right near my house named Ragnar. I couldn't believe it. What are the odds that I would find a cat named Ragnar? He was a senior cat. The vet estimated that he was already 15 years old. And I basically decided to adopt him. But I was taking a trip to the Minecraft offices in Seattle. So I told them that I would come and get him when I got back. So basically the shelter was watching him for me um, while I was gone. And in the week between when I found him and I was going to get him, he sadly passed away. Just from old age, there was nothing we could do about it. And I was really, really devastated because I don't think Milk Toast necessarily wants another cat in the house. But since Ragnar was a senior cat, I knew I could handle it because he would just need, you know, some love for the last few years of his life. Sadly, it was not meant to be. Um, but I'm glad that I have Rags here in, in Dogcraft. Right, buddy? Anyway, it was pretty sad. I'd even bought like a collar and a bed for him and he just, uh, it was his time. All right, let's put Rags's paper up there. Let's put Milk Toast's paper um, back in here. That's crazy that I got Rags today. Okay, Rags, you're coming with us. You will defend us from any creepers that we see. Is it nighttime? Oh, it is nighttime. Oh, there's a skeleton spawning up there. We should probably sleep. Yep, let's. Oh, Dogcraft is so pretty. Let's go ahead and sleep first. All right. Good night, everyone. Has anyone seen Pipsqueak? I haven't seen Pipsqueak yet. Oh, oh back up there. Um. Oh, I think I hear him. I definitely hear him. Did you find him, Rags? Where is he? <laughs> he must be in the walls. Let's go. We are... Oh, wait. I hear him. I hear him again. Pip, are you in there? Are you in there, Pip? <laughs> Polly, are you stuck? You're not stuck. Are you just starving, I guess? All right. Let's go ahead and come out here. Um, now, we've got these... Aren't these... Na yeah, that's Caster. But there's a third one in here now. So, there's Pollux. That's Caster and Pollux. We have... Wait. Hello? Who are you? Oh my goodness, we have a new squid. We've had Castor and Pollux literally like forever. Um, where's, Rags isn't drowning, is he? Where's, where's Rags? Rags, do not die, Rags. I cannot handle, I could not handle real life Rags dying and then uh, Minecraft Rags dying, okay? It's not gonna happen, you sit. Um, okay, so let's start with one of the ponds that doesn't have a squid in it. Actually, I think that these all are one block high. You know what, actually, before I fill all of this uh, pond up, uh, I should actually go and just say hi to my dogs. I feel like they haven't seen me in so long. They're probably really, really sad. Uh, hello. Where is everyone? Hello? <gasps> oh my goodness! Hi, guys! Dog guard, how have you been? Look at everyone having fun. Oh my goodness, you've got big dogs, you've got little dogs. I've missed you guys so much. Much. Hello, Bandit and Tay and oh, hello, Dog Guard. Oh my goodness, everyone is going crazy. This is nuts. Look at little Cricket and oh, Ginger and all oh, their name tags are showing up. I'm gonna cry, you guys. I've missed them so much. As you can see, I pretty much have. Well, I have a decent amount of the breeds here. I think I'm missing a couple more breeds, right? We're missing the Labrador, the Pug, the Shiba Inu, 
and oh there's one other one. Oh, it's gonna bother me oh the samiad or Samoyed, but some people I think say Samiad. Anyway, uh, we're missing those guys, so we might have to go on an expedition for them. There is an English sheepdog in the shelter. Um, I'm pretty sure with Ezra that we have to go and like tame and everything, but hello guys. How have you been? Oh, Francesca, what do you have to tell me? Francesca is like the leader, if you didn't know, because uh, Dog Guard, you know, he does like his thing, but he, you know, Dog Guard needs kind of like protection as well. As you can see right there in the background, dog guard's just being dog guard. Uh, so yeah, Francesca, Francesca helps out with that. Um, oh, oh, guys, I have missed you guys so much. Oh, hi, Nutella. Oh, how have you guys been? Oh, they're so happy to see me. Uh, anyway, okay, I'm gonna go, guys. Listen. I know that you guys are having fun in here, but think of how much fun you're going to have in episode 300 when we just let you loose and you can go wherever you want. You can go to the agility course if you want to. You can go like to, you know, take a bath. You can go to the spa. You can go to the, the restaurant. You can do anything. So there's fences literally everywhere if they come around here like they can't go anywhere. Oh, hello, sugar. Um, yeah, they come here. They can't go anywhere. They come through the dog wash. It gets a little dicey over here because this is not fenced. It's just terraformed. Technically, a dog could get up here, but I'm pretty sure that once they get up here, everything is two blocks high. So then they would just have to come back down. This is all safe over here by the public library. This is the problematic area. So we're going to have to take a look at that. And I have to go back to the pond. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video and take care of the pond. Okay, well, I have filled in all of the holes, but I think, well, I think the other squid despawned because I didn't name tag him, but I'm pretty sure that Castor and Pollux are not happy about me taking away uh, the extra block of water. Um, did I sit you down, Addy? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. There you go. Uh, yeah, they're not moving. Do I have a bucket on me? I do if I drink some milk. Uh, I wonder if I could somehow use... Well, if I place it like, kind of like this, is it going to force, no, it's not going to, I thought maybe the current would kind of like push Pollux up. Come on, come on you pesky squid. I had no idea squid were like this. Oh my gosh. Do you think if I made like a stair block, Addy, that they would actually go up the stair block? Like that doesn't make any sense, right? Like they, they wouldn't. Squid don't use stairs, right? I'm gonna give it a go because I don't know what else to do. Oh my gosh, it's working. Oh my gosh, it just worked. Oh my gosh, squid use stairs. <laughs> oh my goodness, they use stairs. Who knew, Addison, we figured it out together. Is there nothing that we can't solve together, Addison? Um, okay, so then you, Pollux, can also use a stair, please and be free, be on your way. The real question is, are they gonna start, not drowning, but like suffocating because they're technically like, you know how when squid are out of water, but like they're in water, so they shouldn't. They're swimming around. I don't think that they're thrilled, but I kind of like it because you get to see them a lot more. I can't believe it worked with stairs, that's funny. Okay, so let's come this way and let's just kind of like take a look and make sure that this is all fenced off. Hello, Pongo. Why don't I just, no, you know what? I can't sit you up actually, because there's a big section over by the shelter that is not safe. Uh, next episode, Pongo. Next episode, you will be free. Um, okay, thank you for this ink sack and this egg. Uh, little squicken. I guess that means that you would like to have a baby because, oops, you take those stairs, Daddy. Um, there, you can have a little baby. Oh, we gotta break the fence so you can be with your mama. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, see, this is why we have to have a fence here, because a dog would surely drown if it got into there. Okay. Yo, oh, Ragnar, what are you doing? Um, okay, go little, little squicken, go in. Okay, Ragnar, don't drown. Ragnar, teleport. Ra oh, not this way. Ragnar, teleport! Ragnar! 
Ragnar, don't drown. Okay. There's nowhere that the dogs, like, they can go to the hospital if they want to and go see Dr. Nine Healer. Hello, doctor. I've missed you. How have you been? Um, okay, so the only real problem that I think we have that we're going to have to deal with you guys is... <gasps> Hello, Stampy and Dog. Um, that's all, like, terraformed enough so that they can't get past it. Same with up here. Let's just go ahead and say hi to the poodles while we're at it. Um, because it's been, it's been a while. Hello, guys. Oh, gosh. No, Fauna, don't test me, Fauna. Is it getting night again? Goodness gracious. All right, let's sleep. Oh, Fauna, no, Fauna! I'm gonna sleep here with all of these poodles. <gasps> Hello. Oh, hello, guys. Grizzle. Um, okay, let's go ahead now, and um, I guess let's go ahead and say hi to the Dalmatians. These are all of my Dalmatians from the very beginning of the world. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and see. The problem here is this ice. A dog could literally fall in, and then... Sometimes it's like deeper over there where they could get like trapped under the ice Like we have to figure out what we're gonna do here, and I have no idea What the answer is? Um, this was actually in the very very beginning of the series was my farm area uh, And it was all water and then somehow I feel like the cold taiga kind of took over a little bit more Because um, I think that this was this all used to be water, but now it's ice so I'm not exactly sure what to do, but basically over here by the visitor center, we're going to have to add fences behind it here. Oh, you know what? I don't have, I don't have enough oak wood to make a bunch of fences anymore. Oh my goodness. But I have a ton of fur, which actually kind of goes better over here anyway, doesn't it? So let's go ahead and make... A bunch of fur fences all right we've made a stack and a half of fur fences I think that that's gonna be good I'm gonna go ahead and just fence this off and I will be right back okay I think Dogcraft is enclosed now, which is kind of crazy. I think I'm gonna make like a whole nother pass between episode 299 and episode 300, just so I can like triple confirm because I'm paranoid like that. Um, but yeah, I think it, I think it is, which is so cool. Um, okay, so we have a sheepdog, if I am not mistaken, uh, to name and well, and to tame. Ezra is waiting for, oh, hello Ezra. What is all, you got like paperwork here? You've been busy, what have you been busy doing? Oh, there's a, oh my God, what? Oh my gosh, there's dogs here. You've been using the nether tunnel system. Oh my goodness, to bring new dogs in? Thank you! Oh my goodness, but I don't... These are... Are these mutts? That's my favorite kind of dog! Mixed breed! I love them! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Obviously, they're all here because I haven't been on rescuing dogs! But this is insane! They're all... They're all variations I've never seen before! It's just like a proper shelter, Ezra. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. I was just coming here to tame this um this sheepdog here, which is oh, good boy. <laughs> oh, is this your is this your dog, good boy? Okay. Nice to nice to meet you, good boy. Uh okay, Ezra. So, show me around. I mean, how did you where did you go? Did you go to like the the Mega Tiger or the the Mesa? I have no idea. I mean, I guess the mod updated, and now we have all of these mixed breed dogs. <gasps> you know what I want to do? Oh my gosh, Ezra, do you know what I want to do? Oh my goodness, this is insane. Okay, let's make some signs. Do I not have, did I run out of wood again? I need more wood. 
Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, I have more over here, don't I? I have birch, I have birch. I am going to make a sign, and I am gonna basically do, this is incredible, we can essentially rescue a new dog pretty much every episode. So I am hereby giving myself a challenge. I want to get a hundred new dogs here, and I am going to name each one of them. So I'm gonna just start like a new, I'm gonna put signs up in here, I guess. Ooh, okay, we have to pick a first one to do. Oh, that's so cute, it's like a little beagle, and another beagle. <gasps> I think you're a French bulldog. I think you kind of look like tree bark. Um, oh my gosh, you are a liver spotted Dalmatian. Do you know what? That's perfect because it's like the Dalmatian plantation all over again. Do I have my silk touch pickaxe on me? No. So I just kind of have to like break this glass. Oh no, wait, I can go from behind. I can go from behind. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's grab a collar and some biscuits. Good work, Ezra. I cannot even thank you enough for taking care of all these dogs while I was gone. This is incredible. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, okay, would you like a biscuit there we go i am gonna name you tori actually after an artist who did this amazing drawing oh let me give you a collar of my okay i don't think you like the collar no i don't think you like the collar tori okay that's okay that's fine you know what you don't even need the collar actually because we'll just go ahead and break the glass and i'll come and repair it another time uh because essentially you can just like come out here i'll have to i'll have to come up with different kinds of doors so i can just be like tori welcome to dogcraft and then you literally can just become part of dogcraft like you don't have to you don't have to stay in the like you can leave yeah go ahead it's okay yeah Go check it out. Oh, she's so shy and timid. Okay, I'm gonna put up a sign. Let's, I guess, come over here and we will put down Tori. There you go, Tori. You are the first dog rescued officially from the Dogcraft County Animal Shelter. This is so cool, Ezra. Oh my gosh, look at all these mixed breeds. It might be the Labrador that we still don't have the regular version of. And, oh, little bulldog. Oh my goodness. Okay, so every episode I'm going to rescue one of these guys and name it after one of you. I am going to go for now. Happy episode 299 of Dogcraft. I will see you guys for episode 300 next Saturday. But until then, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.